Hi everyone, and welcome to another McCormick Museum Two Minute Tour. I'm Chris, and I'll be your guide today as we talk about some of the amazing women in McCormick family history. Now, I know my friend Will talked to you guys about some of the women in journalism, but what we haven't touched on yet are some of the amazing women who helped to serve their country. Now, two of those women served medically during two major wars. Starting with the Civil War, Robert's grandmother, Kitty Medill, served with the Sanitary Commission. She would have worn something similar to this. Now, the Sanitary Commission was a group of women who believed in new ways of sterilization for doctors and their equipment. It was thanks to the Sanitary Commission that Union soldiers were able to get things like medicine, uh, food and beverages, and clean bandages. Although, their stuff probably wasn't as nice as what I just pulled out of my sanitary bag. They also helped to make sure that soldiers were doing things like regularly washing their hands or brushing their teeth and making sure that latrines were downstream of where the drinking water was kept. Ugh. Fast forward to World War I when Robert's first wife Amy joined up and joined the DeRay Relief. When Colonel McCormick went to fight in World War I, Amy went with him to France. She joined the DeRay Relief, did nursing, drove ambulances, and did some fundraising for the organization as well. Now, I hate to break it to you guys, this isn't actually Amy's World War I nursing outfit. She's buried in that with full military honors. And while she never saw action, Alice Hooper, the daughter of the Colonel's second wife, Marilyn, was actually a trained nurse and a United States Cadet Corps nurse. Now, before we go, there is one more type of service we need to talk about government service, which brings us to the Colonel's sister-in-law, Ruth Hannah McCormick. Ruth was the first congresswoman to appear on the cover of Time Magazine, and she's the first woman from Illinois to run for Senate, although she didn't win that race. And one of Ruth's greatest acts of service was fighting for every woman's right to vote. Ruth was very active during the suffrage movement and worked tirelessly to make sure that we would get the 19th Amendment passed. Thank you for joining me today on another McCormick Museum Two Minute Tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in any future programs or events here at Cantini Park, be sure to check out cantini.org or any of Cantini's social media.